So we just got to limit that. How do you think TCU is kind of improved since you guys last played them? Um, when we first played them, they had one dude that was um, coming off an injury, Spots Burn. Um, he's, pretty, he's a pretty decent player. Um, he was still resting when we kind of played him, I feel like. So we just got to come in and just, you know, do what Coach has to do. You guys talked a lot about you know, just defending the whole board and not letting it happen. Yeah. What happened against Texas? Um, Coach has been telling us that um, coming down now to the wire, you know, about too much, man. This time we got to protect home court, um, continue to keep winning games, not take no teams for granted. You know, when our teams are playing with their life on the line at this point. Do you guys talk about, you know, seeding for the tournament? Do you guys get into that RPI stuff at all? Uh, we, don't, we don't really get into that much, but um, I'm sure coaches, coaches are thinking about that, but they didn't really express that to us yet. With Jonathan out, did you notice his absence in the game, or was that not something that you guys really thought about? Um, I, I, I noticed it um, pressing wise because when I would, when I would press, I would be pressing with two guards rather than a six seven dude with a seven one wingspan, whatever he has. So I, I kind of noticed it. But, um, but I'm pretty sure our teammates and coaches did too, rebounding wise and things like that. Do you think just having to go through that stretch without John made you guys learn something about the team? And- some other options down the road to um, help take John to the foul trouble? Or yeah, I, feel like, I feel like it did. Um, I feel like Nate gained a lot of confidence when, as John was out, um, which we needed as well. He started hitting shots, um, which we didn't need down the road. Um, and I feel like everybody just knew that we all got to come to play, as we always say. Um, one person drops off, there's really not supposed to be no drop off. Somebody's going to come in and show the board. I know you guys want to press with John, but if you don't have him, do you think you guys have gotten better in terms of half court and having to play without him? Um, yeah, half court defense has improved. We, we threw different looks at everybody, so um, that helped as well. You just have some more options. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The way TCU played you guys last year, you know, that kind of opened your eyes at, at that point in time last year that I mean anything really can happen in this conference. Yeah, well, like I said, we just got to come ready to play every day, every game. You know, just coming down to the wire. Um, we just got to play every team like they're a great team. What do you get, recall about that game the most last year? Here? Yeah. I can't even really remember that game, to be honest with you, because I don't think I played it um, versus TCU when they played here. So I, don't, I can't really remember. Sure. With you guys in a three-way tie right now, how close are you guys going to be watching that Oklahoma-Kansas game on Saturday? Uh, we'll, we'll be watching it, but I feel like we just got to take care of ourselves more than worry about other teams, because we got Oklahoma coming up as well. So doesn't really matter. Um, we just got to take care of our game. So we should be a good thing. I think Nate Adrian has played in these past two games. Yeah, um, I feel like he's playing with a lot more confidence. Um, he's shooting the ball. When he's open, he's shooting the ball and he's going in. So I feel like it's just a confidence thing. Right? And once he has his confidence up and we can encourage him to shoot the ball and make shots, he's going to continue to do so. It's the second of three straight Saturday sellout games. What was the atmosphere like against Baylor last week? And, you know, how does that energize this team? Uh, we got great fans, man. Once they come in, they, they give us that unbelievable energy that we need. Um, it's pretty tough to play in. And Kansas was a tough place to play in. We just try to match everybody's intensity crowd-wise and playing-wise.